we've made a, a very difficult decision um, to relieve Coach Skip Holtz of his duties at USF during his three seasons as our head football coach. Skip has served the university <coughs> and the football program admirably. Our team has excelled in the classroom, setting a new USF standard for team GPA. Our APR scores are up as well. And Skip's hard work in stressing the academic side of student athlete life has been critical in that process. He has worked tirelessly helping to, to mold our football players into young men. His community work, his representation of USF, and his work ethic have all been contemporary. It's not easy to part ways with such a good man. I'm thankful for his friendship and for what he has done for USF Athletics. However, my responsibility to our students and fan base and the university as a whole is clear. We must put a more successful football program on the field. Beginning today, we'll move in a new direction toward that goal. We will immediately begin a search for a new coach. We will move as quickly as possible, but as thoroughly as necessary to find the best fit, best fit for our football program here at the University of South Florida. We will enlist the expertise of university officials, community leaders, and leaders in the world of collegiate athletics. Uh, we're not going to be utilizing the search firm in the traditional sense, uh, but may just seek assistance in uh, background chat and uh, vetting candidates. I'll be communicating with uh, leading individuals at all levels of football in America as this process moves forward. Every program experiences highs and lows on the way to the National Conference. Brighter days are ahead. I know that our fans share the passion and the pride for USF athletics as I do. I continue to be grateful for their support. Our fan base deserves to know that we are committed toward making USF successful on a national scale we will conduct the search for our next head coach with that in mind. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have at this point, uh, and then I won't be making any more public comments until, until after the search. So. Doug, when you sat down with uh, Skip Holtz, I mean, you had to, I know it wasn't an easy decision. You had to feel that there was no bright side to continue into the next few years. What were the factors going into it? What were you not able to see that was going to be accomplished? Yeah, first of all, it was a diff very difficult meeting. Uh, and one that I will tell you that, uh, that Skip handled uh, very professionally uh, and very classy as he always does. Uh, and it was a matter of just uh, not having the production that we needed to have over the last couple of years on the field. Uh, and uh, in our assessment, felt like that uh, that we needed to make a change at this time. Doug, was the whole staff let go? Uh, I met with the entire staff, and they are still uh, employed uh, on our staff. They're going to continue to work every day as they have been. Um, there'll be uh, Jason Linder will be handling the academic piece, um, and Todd Fitch will handle all football-related issues, uh, along with obviously all of our eight other heads, heads um, eight, eight uh, full-time assistant football coaches. They'll be continuing their day-to-day -day duties as they have been, uh, as well as recruiting. And uh, then Larry Antonucci will handle all of the uh, administrative duties with regards to football. Um, when a new football coach is brought in, a new head coach, um, those coaches that would desire to, those assistant coaches that would des desire to remain on our staff will have the opportunity to sit down with the new head coach and have that. Discussion. So, John, you go through the timetable of uh, uh, what time of day you met, uh, when you made your decision, uh, when, when you guys, uh, and just how the whole process works. Gary, the president and I had a discussion last night and then again today, and then Skip and I met uh, at noon today. And shortly after that, uh, I met with the uh, with all of our assistant coaches, followed by a meeting with all of our support staff, our football support staff, uh, other than head coaches, and then uh, met with our football team and two of Doug, with the ever-changing landscape of uh, college athletics now, conference jumping and all this that's going on, can you give me an idea of how much that this move played a part because there is that periphery that you, you have to be aware of just in case uh, you, know, you, you may want to you know, make yourselves look more appealing to another conference? Yeah, I don't think this had anything at all to do with that. You know, this really just had to do with, with uh, 
you know, the lack of success we were having on the field at that time. You know, I don't really think it played at all into the conference room. How surprised are you that it's been three years like this? I am. You know, I'm disappointed uh, uh, that we're where we are for sure and, uh, and surprised that, that we are in the place that we are, but, uh, but, but that's where we're at at this point. Do you guys feel like your next hire needs to be a home run to get this program back on track? This program, I will tell you, uh, is going to um, attract folks all across the country. And I think people all across America know um, what kind of job this is, what kind of facilities we have. Uh, we, we just put $100 million into our facilities. We probably have, uh, if not the best, some of the best football practice facilities in America. We just redid uh, our locker room. is probably better than some pro locker rooms. Uh, we play in probably the best stadium uh, in the NFL. We're, the, uh, we're in the 14th largest media market in the country. We've got this weather, and we're in such a rich talent level for football players in Florida. You know, football in Florida is football in Florida. Uh, and uh, I think we'll get a tremendous blue hand to for this time. Doug, would you say that it's important to send a message to, 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 to prospective coaches, to prospective recruits, uh, that uh, you're not going to condone the middle ground between success and failure, especially when, in a program that is, it is so big and, frankly, the most predominant collegiate program in college sports? We, we, you know, we expect to have an, an, that success. You know, I think that the, our alums deserve it. I think our, our fan base deserves that kind of success, and uh, and that's that's what we're going to achieve. We're going to achieve that kind of success here that we all can be proud of. Doug, did the Board of Trustees meet prior to this game and already have a decision on Skip Colton's position no, and no. prior to last night's game? They did not. Doug, for you, in terms of the last couple of weeks, was there a point a week ago, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, where you would thought he would be back? Has the way the season ended, did that shape your decision? It, really, it was just really, Greg, uh, a review of the entire, you know, time to skip the venue, you know, the entire, uh, certainly last couple of years that, uh, that not only were we disappointed with, but he was disappointed with likewise. This past summer, you felt good about Skips and giving him an extension, and, and that contract obviously makes it a more costly move to let him know what you have. How much did that enter into the discussion as to whether you had to make a change or not? Zero. You know, when we extended this contract, um, Feel like it was exactly the right thing to do. He was being pursued at the time, uh, had been earlier on when we talked about contract negotiations by a couple of other schools, the BCS, and uh, all uh, factors pointed to uh, to the fact that I think everybody expected us to have an outstanding year this year, including the money you'll you'll pay as part of him not being there. Do you feel like the university can invest the same amount of money in its football coaching staff as it had uh, under Coach Holby? We'll we'll budget for. First of all, it's a, it's a five-year payout, and we'll budget for that in our normal budget process. There won't be any state money, obviously, in that, but uh, uh, I will promise you that, uh, our, uh, that our, uh, our salary for the next football coach will be just as competitive as it used to be. Obviously, when you gave the extension, you, you foresaw a long association with, with Skip. What, what happened this year to, to take it off the tracks as you look at the progress of this year? That's what I think just the on-field performance you know, was disappointing. It was disappointing for all of us, for you know, certainly was for our players and was for Skip. Doug, I, I guess, do, do you feel pressure though? We, you know, we talk about it. It seems like every other day with this conference realignment that you feel you feel pressure inside that you, you've got to keep a certain standard. Otherwise, you are not going to be appealing to anybody. And Skip, obviously, on the field performance was no good. <laughs> But in a predominant sport like football, football is king, and that's the first sport that any conference looks at. How important, it, it, it's got to be some importance in that. It is. I mean, you know, the importance of all of your programs, but, but as you mentioned, football being, you know, one of the things that appears to have at least initiated some of the conference realignment, it is important. But there's so many other factors that go into this conference realignment. Geography, you know, if you look at... Uh, if you look at some of the leagues that uh, have added schools, they haven't added schools where there have been schools already from that state. Some have, I think some of it's been from basketball. <coughs> Unfortunately, most of it's been from Montana. <coughs> and from TDU. That's important to you, too, though. I mean, you know, revenues are, are, are everything. Sure, it is. And a lot of that may have to do with, again, there's so much that goes into conference realignment. Football <coughs> being successful, football is something that will help, but there's a lot of other factors, too. Doug, uh, there are schools around where boosters have played a prominent role in firing of the coach. Was this a Doug Willard decision 
I, I made this decision while we were in consultation with President Mitchell. Doug, is there a timetable to name the next head coach? Do you have a short list? And is anyone on the staff on the short list? Anybody on the staff certainly will, uh, is welcome to apply. Uh, we, uh, as I said before, from a time standpoint, I want to move as quickly as we can, but as thorough as necessary to make sure that we get the best of this year. How much was the, uh, the crowd last night, or the lack of a crowd, was it a factor at all in the decision? No, it was a, you know, this decision, I mean, we want to have support, obviously, for our program, and we'll have support. Our fan base has been exceptional. Right. You know, we've got a, our, our fans have been, uh, have been behind this program from the time it's a short program, uh, you know, a young program, and they've been behind it from the get-go. This was just about looking at the whole body of work. Do you think that body of work the last couple of years has lost some momentum that this school had, had gained in its football program earlier? I think any time that you uh, are disappointed with uh, lack of success, you know, it, uh, you know, it, it plays a factor. Um, but I would tell you that uh, um, this momentum, if we have lost any, can be regained very quickly. Are you looking for an established head coach? It's going to be completely open. You know, what we're going to do is uh, we'll accept any applications, recommendations, and nominations for a real short amount of time. Then we'll point the arrows the other direction. And, uh, you know, we'll certainly, our pool can include uh, any active head coaches at, at, uh, at the collegiate level, any coordinators, any assistant coaches, and, and I imagine we'll probably attract some people from the NFL. What are some of the attributes you're going to look for in the next person to take over and lead this program? Yes, yeah, somebody that has integrity. Somebody that a coach that will uh, that has proven to be a good leader of young men, uh, and a coach that uh, that certainly uh, can bring the coaching experience uh, and the knowledge and success that they've had other places when they come here. The last time around, we coach it was the second week of January when you guys started the search. How much more of an event is it here, day after season ends, to be dealing with a more full pool of candidates? Greg, it uh, probably is an advantage, you know, to be a little bit earlier in the process. Uh, and then, as you all know, that process sometimes has domino effects when somebody leaves and then somebody else leaves. So uh, I can assure you this, uh, as soon as I leave here, we're going to be getting on, we're going to start this process as soon as I leave this room. Doug, so I know every year you have to do something like this. It's critical that you get the right person. But would you say because of the landscape, if you get back to the same thing, but because of the landscape, is this even more critical that you make the right decision so that this program puts itself in a position for the USA? I think it's always important. You know, I think it was important any time we've made any hires, whether it's a basketball hire, whether it's a football hire. But, but to your point on the conference thing, I think it's important that we're successful uh, as any. Um, now, I would tell you that every school that has made conference changes have not had necessarily great success. In the last three weeks, some of the changes haven't had with all programs that have had great success. But, that's beside the point. We we want to have, and we will have, and we should have a great football program here, and uh, and that's our goal. And that's what we're going to get to. So considering all the coaching, all the coaching changes across the.